Okay, so what we're going to learn today is how to add a uh, water effect to taps and things. Okay, so to get started, just have a tap with a black background, and then we want to select the pen tool here, and then we just want to click around the top of the tap, and then just create a random type spray of water, just like so. and click there. Now what we want to do is create a new layer just by clicking this little thing here and select new layer and then hit OK. And Then we want to hold the control key and click on the previous layer so it brings up the selection just like that. Now what we want to do is we want to go into select, oh, we want to reset the colors make sure they're black and white and then we want to select the uh, paint bucket tool and we want to fill it with white then we want to go into select modify and contract and you can select by one or two pixels I'm going to use one and then switch the colors fill it with black and then contract again but this time contract by a larger amount of pitch, pix, pixels maybe two or four times so I'm going to select four and then fill it with white and then then when we contract, this time we'll only select one, and then fill it with black, and then this time when we contract, we'll select it with four again, fill it with white, and then this time when we contract, select with one, and then fill it with black. Okay, now we just want to deselect, and then go into filter, distort and then glass and the, the settings we want to use is distortion 5, smoothness 5, uh, scaling probably about, you can play around with this depending but say anywhere from 70 to 80 usually works so we'll just select 78 for this one and then hit OK now it doesn't look so great there but what we want to do is duplicate the layer and then on this duplicated layer we want to change the blending mode to color burn. Okay now then we want to hold shift select the two layers and then merge layers you can press control E and then we want to use the blur tool to make it look a bit more realistic so you just want to do the edges a bit lightly and then the inside you want to sort of do heavily now with this blur tool I'm using the strength as 25 percent with a brush and then uh, I'm just going to do the edges first and then I'm going to do the inside I recommend doing the inside pretty heavily just to give it that more realistic effect so that where there's detail just go over it heavily so those little dots there so just going over like that okay until you're happy with it and then we want to go into image adjustments hue and saturation then select colorize and just anywhere from 190 um, upwards just to get that blue. You can make it even yellow if you want, or brown, but we'll just go 194 for blue. Okay, and that's basically it. Thanks for watching.